That's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. Neil Armstrong's first words as he steps onto the moon, man's triumphant adventure. I am astronaut Frank Borman, one of the privileged few who have flown to the moon. The heavenly choir you hear, telemetry from satellites, begins on October the 4th, 1957, with a simple birth cry of Soviet Union Sputnik 1. America's first successful satellite, Explorer 1, rises into the night sky on January the 31st, 1958. Говорит Москва. Radio Moscow, April 1961. Юрия Алексеевича Гагарина, спутника Восток. The first man speaks from Earth orbit, cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin. His people and the world sing his praises while America waits and waits. May 5th, 1961. The flight of astronaut Alan B. Shepard finally counts down to zero. Zero. Lift off. All right, uh, lift off, and the clock has started. This is Freedom 7. The fuel is go. All systems are go. What a beautiful view. Within three Our weeks, President John F. Kennedy defines the, the challenge. Before this decade is out, of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. And in full view of the world, accepting failure with success, thus millions watch breathlessly on February the 20th, 1962, as America makes its first attempt to orbit a man. T-minus 18 seconds and counting engine start. You have firing signal. Good Lord, ride all the way. Godspeed, John Glenn. Roger, we're underway. After three orbits, John Glenn's capsule streaks toward the Atlantic. This is Friendship 7, a real fireball outside. Hi, you reading your loud and clear? How you doing? My condition is good, but that was a real fireball, boy. In 1963, Russia orbits a woman cosmonaut, Valentina Tereshkova. With America's Gemini craft of 1965 and 1966, the moon comes closer as men maneuver, rendezvous, dock, and walk in space. June the 3rd, 1965. Ed White paces off 6,000 Earth miles through the sky. Okay, I'm out. Okay, get out. I'm rolling to the right now. Under my own influence. It looks beautiful. I feel like a million dollars. This is the greatest experience I've ever seen. Let's see what the uh, flight director's got to say. The flight director says, get back in. Well, this is Jim. Uh, what, got any message for us? Jimmy Ford, get back in. <laughs> then tragedy. Not in space, but on the ground. On January the 27th, 1967, during a pre-flight test for the first Apollo mission, a fire takes the lives of Virgil Grissom, Edward White, and Roger Chaffee. Russia, three months later, mourns cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov, killed during re-entry by a parachute failure. Not until December 1968 does man try for the moon. William Anders, James Lovell, and I reach the moon and start around it. Safe journey, guys. Thanks a lot, Trips. We'll see you on the other side. The world waits. We've heard nothing yet. We've got it. Uh, we've got it. Apollo uh, 8 now in, in lunar orbit. The vast loneliness up here on the moon is uh, all inspiring. For all the people back on Earth, the crew of Apollo 8 has a message. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Our Christmas Eve greeting to Earth, earth form, the first verses of Genesis. And from the crew of Apollo 8, we close with good night, good luck, a Merry Christmas, and God bless all of you.
all of you on the good earth.